everybody and welcome back to another video of Is It Overrated? I'm um, talking about like a particular movie that's um, you know, quite popular and quite well known and discussing the fact whether I consider it to be an overrated popular movie or um, not an overrated popular movie I guess, obviously not an underrated movie but um, whether I think it deserves all the hype that it gets and then obviously I want to know your thoughts on whether you consider it to be overrated or whether you think it does deserve the hype and for today I will be talking about this is the third video of this I will be talking about Indiana Jones and for this particular video I thought I'd just go ahead and talk about the first movie which came out in 1981 uh, Indiana Jones the Raider and the Raiders of the Lost Ark if you have never seen an Indiana Jones movie you should really see an Indiana Jones movie so um I watched this movie yesterday or the day before I think it was yesterday and before what well, I had just seen it I went out younger as well but um before watching it yesterday, I went in with the question in my mind of, okay, watch the movie, enjoy the movie, but have the question in your mind of the is it overrated question. Um, so, you know, I could talk about it in the video, so I was thinking about that throughout watching it, and I definitely think that the answer to that would be no. I think it definitely deserves the hype that it gets, and I'll tell you that right away, because it's such a fun time. I had such a fun time watching this movie. It's a, a packed full of action and adventure. The first scene, um, the whole first bit, is fantastic. It's really quite iconic if you have... Um, you probably would, um, you know, it's got the whole boulder thing rolling towards, you know, you've probably seen that even if you haven't seen the movie. Um, and it's so much fun, like, you know, he's going through his thing with all the booby traps and things, it's fantastic. And then basically it's, um, he's on a quest to find, um, well, you know, the lost ark thing, the, this crystal thing. And then to find this ark that can do all these fantastical things and he wants it for the museum because that's where he works and then there's this obviously these other guys who want it and they're kind of like trying to see who can get it first who can find it and then who can get it and stuff like that and it's really really fun but it goes through loads of different um bits where I, I can't really explain it very well obviously I'm doing a bad job at explaining Joy Jones I feel like everybody everybody knows Indiana Jones um, but yeah it just what I mean is it goes through so many different kind of sections of the movie which I loved and each bit is so much fun and it's just a really fun movie it's packed full of so much stuff this movie is under two hours long I think it's about one hour fifty minutes or maybe one hour forty five something like that and for the short time well you know nowadays it's not really that long of a movie we definitely have a lot longer movies um so for how much time this movie lasts for it packs so much in uh, it's crazy how much stuff happens in this movie and it's all so much fun i thought like this is such a fantastic movie it's a great family movie as well it's a movie this is a movie for everybody but i can really imagine as well watching this kind of I know it sounds silly because it's nowhere near. You could watch this any time of year, but you know, like at Christmas time, when there's a bunch of people around, everyone can enjoy Indiana Jones. I feel like it's that kind of movie. If there's a bunch of people in the room, they're all from different age groups, everybody's gonna love this movie. I don't think there's a different uh, age group that wouldn't enjoy the movie. So I definitely think it's definitely a movie for everybody. And plus, I mean, come on, it came out in 1981. It's definitely stood its testament of time. Um, there is a scene, I won't tell you exactly what scene, so we'll give it away. There's a scene in this movie where they do use some special effects, a special effects that do look kind of really funny. Uh, you can tell it's dated in that moment. But some of the scenes, you really can't. I mean, I definitely need to get these uh, movies on Blu-ray. I have them all on DVD, uh, but I do need to get them on Blu-ray at some point. Um, let me know if you have them on Blu-ray and if they look better and the, what the quality is like if you... Um, want to share your thoughts with me on that down below um, but yeah so it still looked great it was still so much fun I mean you know it's, it's a pretty old movie now and it was so fun um, so yeah I really enjoyed it I give this movie five stars because I just had such a good time watching it and obviously I'll mention it in a lot I've watched video at some point as well but I definitely think that this movie is worth watching and it will be worth watching again and again and again I think it'll definitely hold up as time goes on um, that's just my opinion of course, let me know your opinion down below, I feel like Indiana Jones is such an iconic character as well, everybody knows Indiana Jones, oh and the theme tune, I mean, come on, that theme tune, when the theme tune comes on on the movie, it's so exciting, if you hear the first bit of that tune, everyone's going to know what it is, I feel like it's such a, I don't, well known movie, even if the, you couldn't t tell the movie, like say someone said to you, explain the, the whole plot of the first year of Indiana Jones, even if, if you couldn't do that, you could tell some characteristics of Indiana Jones, and you could uh, recognise the theme tune, I feel like it's that well known um, in aspects, even if people haven't be that well known to the movie, I don't know, it's fantastic, Indiana Jones is a fantastic character, uh, it was definitely a great movie, and the other, I haven't seen 
Um, the fourth one though, which is the newer one, I don't know, I've heard that one's not as good, but I do own that, so uh, I have to check that out. But um, yes, yeah, so just kind of going off of the first one, because I thought it'd be easier. I thought it was fantastic, definitely not an overrated movie. I feel like it's, I don't know, I'm really happy that it's kind of stood up um, t for the times and stuff like that. So yeah, let me know your thoughts down in below, and uh, yeah, sorry if that was a bit jumbly, but you know how we roll here, it's all good. Um, so that was under, no. No, 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 it was not underrated movies. That was, is it overrated, number three. Um, let me know if you guys are enjoying these. I have a lot of fun making them and picking out the movies to discuss. I uh, hope you enjoy it. Let me know your thoughts down below. Do you consider Indiana Jones to be an overrated movie or do you think it definitely deserves the hype that it gets? Let me know your thoughts and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.